Hey there everyone, Caddy here, and today I'll be chatting for a few minutes about one of the most fun sports games I've played in years, Everybody's Golf on the PS4. Full disclosure, PlayStation did send me a review copy of this game along with these customised Kadikaras golf balls, which are adorable and fantastic, but more importantly, will not affect my following thoughts or opinions of this game. I mean, Christ, I also got a review copy of Knack 2, and well, well, you'll see what I thought about that soon. It'll take a lot more than a few balls to make me fall in love with you anyway. So back on point, yeah, no offence intended, because if you like them, that's awesome, but I am not a sports game person whatsoever. NBA, FIFA, Madden, pff, I'd rather just go outside. Actually, no, I wouldn't because I don't like any of them. And I don't really like golf as a sport either, but I have many fond memories of sun-kissed spring Sunday afternoons playing the original Everybody's Golf on PS1 for hours, even though I was a kid and totally useless at it. It's one of the only sports games I've legitimately enjoyed for its arcadey feel, cutie appealing presentation and addictive nature, and I haven't sunk my teeth into the series since over 15 years ago. So I'm absolutely thrilled to say that I wasn't mad as a kid for loving this series on the first game, because this PS4 version is so much damn fun and I haven't put it down for days despite it ostensibly being nothing but fucking golf for hours and hours. And as far as gameplay is concerned, yes, it's the same base game I remember loving from all those years ago. Angle and position your shot, pick the right club, time the correct amount of power with the X button and then time your swing perfectly for the chance of an incredibly satisfying... <laughs> Very good! But what with it being on the PS4 now, it's had a lot of additions and tweaks, and I have no idea how similar it is to the more recent entries because I never got around to playing them, but what we have here may be the best and most fun golfing video game I've ever played, despite the fact it doesn't do much to stand out at its base quality. Everybody's golf is addictive, yes, addictive. Golf is addictive, with quick matches stitched into varied tournaments with lovely visual flourishes, weather effects and constant new rivals with individual animations and personalities to fight against appearing constantly. And with more shot styles like Risky overpowered shots and new control options like last minute lower power and higher power shots you can use in an emergency if you aren't happy with the power that you activated with the X button, there's so much stuff unlocking for your use the further into the game you get and new things to mess around with all the time, keeping you going to tackle each higher challenge tournament and opponent in more versatile ways, keeping everything very interesting. Not to mention your character and club upgrade system I really loved since you need to activate and perform particular shots and make your ball land at particular distances away from the hole in order for you to upgrade your attributes. And each particular element of your control and power only upgrade depending on the kind of player that you are. For instance, if you're great at hitting at full power all the time, then you upgrade your power and hit the ball further. If you're great at timing the swing directly into the middle of your control, then that increases. If you manage to land extremely close to the hole with your swings, or even land a hole in one, your accuracy increases for the moments when you're lining the shot up. And it's all entirely variable, rewarding every kind of player depending on how well they can do on each aspect of the gameplay, and how each player tends to lean towards particular swing and hit styles. And how about more character customizing? things to unlock as you go on, from clubs to balls and every part of your cute little avatar. I loved getting coins in the game, checking out the store and gearing myself up for online matches and getting my character to look as much like me as possible. I think the adorable and extremely pretty art style of the game helps with the retail therapy and chilled out vibes the game has going for it in the matches and the menus alike. And I can even say the same for the music, perfectly matching each situation, whether it demonstrates the high stakes of getting a birdie or eagle, or letting you know that you have the most chilled out game ever. I mean, hey, you can just slouch back on the sofa, play some relaxing golf and take it easy. That's what this game is so great at doing. Which is why all of the typically mundane things like an in-game clothes shop for your character are so much fun to navigate around. It just radiates a pleasant, easy-going atmosphere. And the same can be said in the tiny hub world that you can run around, find hidden items in and talk to random people with. And in the hub world especially is where the character of the game shines through. Winning a continuous string of rival matches and tournaments makes all the inhabitants of your island applaud you and fangirl over you, which is a fantastic detail. In actual matches, every avatar and rival character has unique voice clips and animations reacting to wins and losses, including you. And the special handicaps they have like hitting too hard but not accurately, or using backspin on their balls all the time, gives tons of personality to the one-off encounters. Spectators on the side of each course reacting to your play and shouting encouragement, aside from the quiet and intense putting segments, and seeing the other players alongside you playing in the same tournament and watching them fail and succeed is a very sweet touch, increasing the chilled out vibe and togetherness that the game likes to promote itself with. Along with your golf caddy giving you hints on the environment, terrain, and congratulating your good play. Everything is just as sweet as each other, and with the caddy specifically, they're even interchangeable with different sexes and nationalities, and depending on how well you do, you can attract more caddies to your island that you can talk to and hire if you'd like to. There's even a stupid damn scientist character that quizzes you about the game and golf in general, which isn't fun, yeah, it's stupid, and if you get one question wrong then you have to start again because you're not going to get the reward for it, but winning each difficulty leveled quiz unlocks you a brand new camera angle for the gameplay that actually massively helps out 
with the accuracy and landing positions of your balls and helps you look at the course from brand new angles. Even multiplayer is tons of fun since you only need one controller to do it and the amount of customizing there from the weather, wind, time of day and type of hole from gaping holes to tiny holes and even tornado holes that suck the balls in makes it one of the most accessible and fun sporting multiplayer games I've played on PS4. It's literal fun for all the family, but is it as fun as making the perfect shot and nearly getting the ball in the hole or just avoiding a penalty hazard like landing in the water? No way. You made better. Whoa. Great shot. Whoa. Incredible. Nope, I didn't think so. Way too satisfying. I mean, seriously, this video may just look ridiculous to you all, and I wouldn't blame you for thinking that, but Everybody's Golf is the best golf game and most addictive, charming, and relaxing sports game I think I've ever played. And it makes me feel a little bad that I haven't checked out this series ever since the first game on PS1. The only thing I could really complain about, I suppose, is that... Well, it's a golf game. Unfortunately, it's essentially identical at its core to so many other golf games of the past, from PGA Tour, even to the original PS1 title. It's very familiar. So it's all the little gameplay tweaks and additions to upgrade systems, brand new shot styles and last minute risk and reward swing saving mechanics, catchy music and cartoony appealing visuals that really make this game its own. And at 60 FPS on PS4 Pro, it makes it all the more fun and surprising. It's the definitive golf game I've played, I'd say, and I haven't been able to put it down from the atmosphere it dragged me into. Just don't expect anything massively innovative. All right. nice shot. Great. I'm gonna give everybody's golf a 9 out of 10. If it's your birthday today while watching this video, happy frickin' birthday to you, and please remember to stay beautiful. Aye, 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 aye. But thanks so much for watching this review, everybody, and please consider supporting the channel on Patreon like all of these people on the credits now did and have a look at all the benefits that I have for you. Special thanks to the top tier Patreon donators, Omarma2, Patrick Ferguson, Andy Ellis, Robert Alamsha, I Have a Portal Gun, Gamer Man, Uni Hermit, Kirsten B, QB, Matthew Elliott, Nathan Young, Nicole Ganara, and Jacob Pappenfuss.